Okay, so we stopped in Doha. Uh, I swam four events, 100 free, 200 free, 400 free, and the 200 back. Um, first day, I swam the 400 free and 100 free. Um, I actually won the best time in my 400 free. Um, dropped three seconds to 357. And uh, we were just really excited with that swim. Um, I made finals in the 100, on 49.6 in the morning, 49.7 at night. Um, just taking stuff that I need to work on from those two events. Um, looking forward. Um, the next day, I swam the 200 free. Um, that was kind of interesting because um, in the morning my goggles broke, um, so I had to swim without them. But again, um, just needed to get get it done. Uh, my coach told me before the race, just try not to think about it, and I count my strokes, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but I was looking forward to fixing that in the second swim at night. Um, and at night, I actually got to race um, James Guy, world champion this year. So that type of experience and just swimming right next to him was really great to get. Um, looking forward and. Um, I'm just really happy with the experience, really happy with the culture there. And uh, I actually saw and met uh, a couple national teamers and national junior teamers, some of those were my friends. And uh, it was just a really good, great meet for my team too. We, um, each year my coach chooses one stop and this year it was the Doha stop, so he brought um, seven swimmers, so and this is pretty fun. Anytime you travel internationally, there's obviously the um, obstacle of adjusting to the time zone. Um, I think I did, pretty well with that right away. I tried to not sleep on the plane and start during certain times just to um, be on uh, Qatar time. Um, when we were there, we swam just to get um, kind of our blood going, just adjusted to the sunlight so we could get, stay awake kind of thing. Um, but on that Sunday before the meet, we actually we um, were sightseeing um, and it was pretty incredible. We visited some mosques. Um, the one that sticks out to me right now is the Gold Mosque, Golden Mosque, and just we were out, we, the men were allowed to go inside, and uh, that was pretty special. Um, just seeing that culture, seeing like the quiet, how quiet it was in there, um, and we were, yeah. After that, we just went to the market, and uh, we were able to bargain, which was pretty cool. A lot of the girls had some great deals, but um, yeah, it was actually it was just an incredible um, place and just culture to be a part of for that day. Yeah, I was, I was pretty excited with the times. Again, um, we're taking stuff that we can work on at this meet. Um, so we're, again, we're looking at the films, just checking um, my flip turns, stroke, um, kicking head position, just kind of all the basic details too, just to work on those and get better, um, to make myself better and my time better. And, you know, just keep training. Um, I'm fortunate that I get to go to the Olympic Training Center for three weeks. That'll be my first time just being there for uh, longer than a three day period and uh, just training. Um, I'll be there with my coach for a week and um, then I get to join the national team. So just good racing, good training up there. Um, then I'll be at Austin and then just training and training and training. <laughs>